We're diving deep into the latest morning consult polling. Plus, what would the race look like if Hillary Clinton and John Kerry jumped in? Team Rising is here. Niambi Carter is an assistant professor of political science at Howard University and author of American While Black. Henry Rogers is Capitol Hill reporter for The Daily Caller. Two great friends of the show, the Power Panel. They're back at it again. Great to see you guys. <laughs> Thanks, Good. All right. So we have got our one of our favorite polls here, Crystal and I, for the early state and the national Democratic primary for morning consult. The reason we love this one is plus or minus 1% for the national Democratic primary, plus or minus 4 on the early states. Let's start with the early states because that is, I guess, generally what, <laughs> what matters the most. But Joe Biden has actually gained three points in the last week. Mm -hmm. Bernie Sanders, one point. Elizabeth Warren, two. And Pete Buttigieg, minus 4. What do you think of that, Henry? A minus 4 drop despite the fact that he was surging in Iowa and in New Hampshire. Uh, it's not looking good for Buttigieg. Yeah. Uh, but Tied with Tom I, Steyer. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> so, point that out. I mean, we'll see how long his campaign goes on here. Uh -huh. um, honestly, it's not looking too good for him. Hmm. But Biden, his numbers, I mean, he continues to have these gaffes. I mean, yeah. he's had like a, it's been a quite the week yeah. of gas. Right. Push up. He only went up last week. The push, push up, up contest, contest pushed him over the edge. People <laughs> screaming at reporters. It's very all popular in the early mm -hmm. days. That's that's the funny thing. And yet his numbers are rising. Yeah. So I mean, it's it's really incredible. Yeah, I mean, nothing touches this man. Nothing. Well, yeah. I mean, I think that's I mean, being the front runner and being yeah. called that for so long. I mean, it's been months. Mm -hmm. They've actually not had a contest yet. True. Again, no one has won anything yet, no. but he's a front runner. Yeah. And I think that's part of it. And I do yeah. think people kind of like this sort of off the cuff nature. I mean, it's some how they turn it into this sort of lovable uncle story. <laughs> I like, agree with you. He's yeah, just you. this guy. He's just out of step, but yeah. you know he means well, and I think that's what he's been able to tap into. Even though I think for lesser candidates, these would have been death nails. So yeah. something so weird happened when he appeared to call that voter fat. Although they say that he said, <laughs> "Look, facts, facts, okay, <laughs> yes, whatever." Um, and then challenged him the IQ test, and the yes. contest, yes. and said he was sedentary, and the whole the whole bit. Um, so of course, I posted about it on Twitter. And for the first time ever, people came out to support Joe Biden. That is never really? happened. Yes. Me too. Wow. It was the first time. came after time. me too. I really? Really, yeah. I, you know, I mean, we talk about Biden on the show. It's all not always time. favorable. Right. Yeah. And, you know, I post all kinds of stuff. Never got any pushback. But this was the first time when people were so like, they want, they that's not fair. Some yeah, yeah, I think they liked because that he was feisty. They, they think Trump that he's going to do that against yes. yeah. Trump if he yeah. is the candidate. Right. Right. And yeah, this is a guy from Scranton, right? I mean, he's gotten that working class credibility, right? Right? He is, he's that, he's Joe, right? You know yeah. him. And I think that's what people like. And the fact that he's a over 70 man yeah. who was still sort of got a little fire in the belly makes people feel good. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how good it will be in long term. Yeah. But yeah. now, yeah. for people. Right. No, that's but that's fair to point out that yeah. if it was someone else, it may be. I don't think it would go with. Would not go no, over as well. No, no. Clearly. We also have, you know, the national Democratic primary preference of Joe Biden still sitting pretty 30 mm percent. -hmm. Plus one. Bernie's at 22, plus two. Elizabeth Warren at 16. Pete Buttigieg at nine. Michael Bloomberg at six. <laughs> now, I know it's not that remarkable of the change, but let's think about a month ago to see Elizabeth Warren at the 16 percent number, Henry. That's devastating. I mean, she was yep. all the way up yep. here nipping at the heels of yep. Joe Biden, minus 14 in some polls, minus 9 in another. Health care has basically just destroyed her candidacy. Health care has yeah. destroyed her candidacy. She's been sinking for weeks now, for about two weeks now. She's right. been dropping in polls. Um, so, again, as Biden continues to go up after all of these get mm -hmm. all of these gaffes, well, it, it, all the, the other candidates, yeah. Bernie's Bernie's kind of staying around the same spot. He dropped and he's gone dropping, back going yeah. back, but he's yeah. but he's he's right around the same spot in every poll. Mm. Um, so again, I don't know who the candidate's going to be, but it's looking like Biden's going to be the candidate. <laughs> yeah. and, and if that's the case, <laughs> wow, that's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, do you think? I mean, we do see. Uh, I see early signs of there may be another. Pete is finally facing some scrutiny, which he had not faced mm -hmm. at all up to this point. He's finally getting some questions about his history, about his donors, about his you know lack of support in the black community. That seems to be taking a bit of a toll. Elizabeth Warren has dropped off um, significantly. She's had a huge drop in the poll over the past couple of months as she struggled on health care in particular. Do you think that we're starting to separate into essentially a two-person race, Biden versus Bernie? I mean, I think we'll definitely see some winnowing. Who falls out when they fall out? I think is still up for debate. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think as long as people have money in their coffers, they'll continue on, right? Because people do want to make it to those early primaries. That's usually sort of do or die time. Right. But as we saw with Kamala Harris, I mean, she took stock and said this is not going well not and was still able to pay her staff for a month, which I think is actually really important, yeah, right? Yeah, it is nice. She didn't leave 
everybody sort of scrambling like yeah. lots of these yeah. things do. That's so really be, what, that's a really important point, actually. Yeah, and so we'll see, right? But I do think you're going to—it's it's inevitable, right? People have been doing this for a year now, almost a year, and we're still several months out from a race. If people can maintain this commitment, right, not just to the sort of national race, but to these local state mm -hmm. races where they're going to have to make appearances, they're going to have to put ads, they're going to have to do all of this stuff, um, I think we're going to see money come into play for a lot of folks. I think it's just amazing, Henry. Six months ago, it looked exactly the same, yeah, right? So, like, yeah, we went yeah, through so, yeah. like, yeah. he came in the race, right. sat at 30 percent, mm -hmm. hasn't really dropped <laughs> off. There's been a lot of this happened. Bernie went down. He had his heart attack. I guess they unclogged him. Now he's <laughs> doing great. He's go. back at number two. <laughs> Elizabeth Warren had her moment in the sun. Now she's back to third. Mm -hmm. I mean, really what it is, is it's a scrambling for the right side of the graph, which is, yeah, Pete Buttigieg has kind of consolidated that nine. Is it flat now? We don't really know. Andrew Yang is now in the top mm -hmm. six. It's generally him and Tulsi somewhere around there. And Bloomberg and Steyer are kind of like battling it out yeah. for the, to also for the fifth billionaire place. Yeah, yeah. The, bill, the, the fifth <laughs> place lane. I mean, it hasn't changed. No, it hasn't, like, it hasn't changed hey, at all. Right. I mean, I've been on the show since the beginning of yeah. this, and, 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 and literally, we've been analyzing these polls every week. I mean, the same every week. order, and, and, and right? It's, 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 like, it's been yeah. the same order. Yeah. Um, Liz Warren is just dropping more than mm -hmm. she has been, and besides that, Bernie Sanders is the same. So I do think, to, to Crystal's question, I do think it's actually going to be, a, I think, right yeah. now, a, two po a two-person race. I think you do have Biden and Bernie Sanders. I think those are the two candidates who are going to end up going head-to-head, -head, um, and then one of them is going to be Trump guy and yeah. and my question is is how is Sanders going to do it he needs to step it up and, and yeah. do something how is he going to raise these poll numbers um, before the general election yeah something's got to shake otherwise Biden is you know he is where he is and you come in a super Tuesday and the one thing I will say is um, I'm not impressed by his organization right. um, in terms of on the ground they've they're doing better raising money apparently but they haven't had a lot of money to spend building out in other states does that hurt him I don't know but yeah as a state of the race, and it's what it's been. However, just imagine what would happen if Hillary Clinton got married. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, <laughs> yes, Everyone right. at this table. Oh, we actually have wondering. evidence of that. Oh, we have evidence of that. <laughs> so we've got some polling here. Yeah. Um, this is from Harvard Harris. And uh, so they did the top five. You can see in this tweet, you know, the normal thing, Biden Sanders, as, as most of these polls. But then they threw in, what if Hillary Clinton and John Kerry, why John Kerry, I don't know, <laughs> got into the race? <laughs> Clinton yeah. then jumps up to be in the lead. Yeah. <laughs> it's only 21 right. points, right? right. But uh, what do you think? What does this say, Niambi? Well, I mean, she did win the election in 2016, yeah. right? Like, right. yes, she lost the Electoral College, yeah. but she won the popular vote, and it wasn't close. It was 3 million votes. Mm -hmm. So this doesn't surprise me at all. I mean, I hope she doesn't take this as a cue and decide to get <laughs> into the race, because honestly, I do think, you know, I think, like you said, somebody's had their time in the yeah. sun. I think she's had hers. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. And I yeah. certainly think that while she won, and I do think 2016 was this sort of moment for a lot of people where they realize this is probably going to become a more regular feature of our elections and not a less mm -hmm. regular feature, um, that the public interest in Hillary Clinton, I think, is is not there, I think even though this was a nice thought experiment. I don't know where they got John Kerry from. He was probably <laughs> one of the most flat, boring yeah. Democrats of the last <laughs> uh, 30 yeah. years. So. Oh, it's so what do you think, Henry? I, 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 in Maybe a way, I kind of want to the guy that lost the last time. Uh, yeah, it's easy to beat. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, whatever. It'd be insufferable. Yeah, yeah. It'd, it'd be a yeah. disaster. So, right. yeah, no, no. Um, <laughs> I, I'm just, I just think that it's crazy. Hillary Clinton is, she lost to Donald Trump. She uh, got destroyed by Donald Trump in basically every single debate, yeah. um, was kind of dragged through the mud. Her name has kind of been tarnished after right. that election, in my opinion. Mm. Um, so I, I don't think that she would have much success. I think this poll uh, shows her in the lead because obviously she won the popular vote and you know people still love her for trying to be Trump and all this stuff but if she actually has a chance I don't I don't it's think dissatisfaction she has a within the base I think that's what it really was is that it, it's interesting Inez Stepman was on the show yesterday she she pointed out that the 2012 primary on the right was basically a situation where Every, some of the base had Romney, and they were okay with Romney. And then everybody got to audition for who might go up. Was it Newt Gingrich? Was it uh, Herman Cain? Yeah, or like all these yeah, other people. Yeah, yeah. But ultimately, all of them had critical flaws in a way mm -hmm. Romney was the safe choice. He won the nomination, and he lost. Mm -hmm. I think Biden is a very apt comparison, which is that sure. Buttigieg, Bernie, Warren, and all these other people are getting their time in the sun, and yet none of them have been able to really unseat 
uh, but I, I think Joe Biden is going to yeah. be a disaster, though, right? Because Me too. Hunter, I agree with you. He has Hunter yeah. Biden. Yeah. And yeah. I don't know how you <laughs> right. explain that away, yeah. right? Hunter Biden, I think, is going to be an Achilles heel for Joe Biden. Where is Hunter? Yeah. 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 Everyone, well, where is everyone yeah. at this table agrees on that yeah. one. And yet it's been completely, I mean, there's just no way anyone can touch him on it in the Democratic yeah. primary because the press has basically said there's nothing to see here, yeah. leaving him so vulnerable for the Democratic We'll have to leave it there. Exactly we'll right. take a quick break and we'll be right back after this. Thank you.